Do you feel bad for the 90% of your brain that's allegedly sitting in the corner doing nothing? Like the office intern who's only trusted with coffee runs? Well, guess what? That myth about only using 10% of your brain is so wrong, it makes flat earthers look like Nobel Prize winners. Let's dive into this myth. Where it came from, why it's scientifically impossible, and how Hollywood has milked it for all it's worth. Spoiler, by the end of this, you'll be using more than 10% of your brain to laugh at how absurd this idea really is. Ah, the early 1900s, a simpler time when people thought radium was a health tonic. Somewhere in this era, Harvard psychologist William James mused that humans rarely live up to their full potential. Fair point, Bill. But then someone misquoted him and suddenly, we don't reach our full potential became 90% of your brain is just chilling waiting for a wake-up call. From there, it snowballed. In the 1930s, neurologist Carl Lashley ran experiments slicing up rat brains. Don't worry, science has since evolved. Finding that some areas could compensate for others, Instead of concluding that the brain is adaptable, people thought, oh, more wasted space? Add a pinch of pseudoscience, and boom, a myth was born. Fast forward to today, and you've got motivational speakers, self-help books, and even Hollywood doubling down on this idea. Movies like Lucy and Limitless turned it into blockbuster gold. They told us, unlock your brain's full potential and you'll be a genius with telekinesis. Great plot, terrible science, Let's bring in the pros, neuroscientists. Thanks to brain imaging technology like functional MRI, fMRI, we know that humans use all parts of their brain, just not all at once. Think of your brain like a symphony. Not every instrument plays every note, but they all work together to create the music. Even mundane tasks, like scrolling through social media or deciding between pineapple on pizza, activate multiple brain areas. Your frontal lobe is planning, your visual cortex is processing, and your amygdala is probably wondering why you're even considering pineapple pizza in the first place. Then there's the evolutionary argument. The human brain is a calorie-guzzling machine, consuming about 20% of your body's energy. If 90% of it were dead weight, nature would have ditched that baggage faster than you can say, survival of the fittest. Let's not forget brain injuries. When damage happens to even a small portion of the brain, the effects can be profound. If we only use 10%, why would any injury matter? It's like spilling a little water out of a full glass. No big deal, right? Except it is a big deal, proving the whole brain is involved in keeping you functioning. Now, why does this myth persist? Simple, it's convenient. People love the idea that they're sitting on untapped potential. It's easier to believe you're not a world-class violinist because you haven't unlocked your brain's hidden zone than to admit you haven't practiced. The media hasn't helped either. Every few years, a new self-help guru pops up, promising to activate your brain's unused power. Spoiler alert, they can't. It's like selling you a treadmill by claiming it can teach you to fly. So what's the truth? Your brain's doing a hundred things right now, from processing these words to keeping your lungs and heart in sync. It's a multitasking powerhouse. The idea of unused potential doesn't mean whole chunks of your brain are slacking off. It means you can keep learning and growing. Want to maximize your brain power? It's not about unlocking secret compartments. It's about using the tools you already have. Exercise, sleep, and good nutrition keep your brain sharp. Lifelong learning, whether through books, hobbies, or YouTube rabbit holes, helps build new neural connections. So the next time someone tells you, we only use 10% of our brains, feel free to ask them which 90% of their brain they think they're not using. Is it the part that forgot how to Google basic science? Or maybe the section that believed Lucy was a documentary? And hey, before you go, remember, you're already using 100% of your brain. Now put it to good use. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. Let's brainstorm more persistent myths to debunk. Got any favorites? Let us know. Oh, and don't forget to share this with someone who still thinks the other 90% of their brain is just waiting to help them win trivia night. Trust me, their brain will thank you. Have a great one, Brainiacs!